Hi, it's Pavel with the Java homework uh, from a book. Let me see. Java Software Solutions Foundations of Program Design. There you have it. So, what are we going to be doing today? We will be calculating distance between two points, between point, point X and point Y. Um, this is just a basic use of uh, a formula, which is this. So have a good look at it because we're gonna be using it. And um, okay, let's do the, the program. Let's go to do some uh, learning here. All right. So um, what do we need? Well, we have a uh, coordinates uh, x and y, but each point has two coordinates. Each point has a coordinate x and coordinate y. So we need two x's and two y's. Again, this is the formula x2 and x1. So let's declare some variables. Let's do them in double. It could be integer if you uh, wanted to work only with whole numbers, but uh, I'm going to declare them as double. Uh, double y1 equals uh, 0. I I just initialize them to zero. That will obviously will be changed uh, during the execution of the program. Uh, double x two equals zero, and double y two equals zero. Now we need a variable that will store the result of the calculation, and we are calculating distance. So let's call it uh, distance. Double distance. And it's going to be zero at the beginning as well. We need to get some user input. We could just hard code it for this exercise, but I like to, you know, uh, just get some user input. System dot uh, out print line. And it's going to be please enter x1 coordinates. Right, and uh, we will store it in x1. x1 equals scan. Oops, I should go to the next line. Uh, x1 equals scan dot uh, next integer. So, well, obviously, in order for us to use. Scanner, we need to import some. Uh, uh, we need to import some uh, utility. So it's gonna import Java dot util dot scanner. So that should work. It's still uh, underlined. Well, <laughs> I got way ahead of myself. We need scanner object. I always name it scan, so that's why I automatically just used it without even thinking that Java doesn't know what scan is. <laughs> New scanner and the classic system system that input. So maybe now, yeah, there you go. Now we'll do the same thing for uh, x2 and uh, y1 and y2. So let's just uh, copy it. All right, so it's gonna be, uh, you know what? Let's do x1, y1, and x2. And y2. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so this is our input. Um, that's all the input we need. So uh, oh, let's since that's all the input we need, let's close the scanner. 
we're not gonna waste resources even though obviously that wouldn't really matter too much for this particle exercise and let's do the calculation so what is the distance and again let's look have a look at the formula now how are we going to um, kind of simulate it we'll put it in the uh, in the Java obviously we don't have this particular formula already built in so we'll have to come up with one so everything was uh, the, the square root of uh, let me see again oh, all right so that's going to be another math the power of uh, it was x2 minus x1 to the power of 2. I think that's what it was x2 minus x1 and all of it to the power of 2. All right, and it's gonna be plus, it was plus, right? Plus y2 minus y1 to the power of 2. So plus math dot power man power of uh, y2 minus y1 to the power of 2. Okay. So square root of x2 minus x1 to the power of 2 plus y2 minus y1 to the power of 2. And this is the end of the brackets. Okay, so this should be the formula. Uh, well, we'll test it soon, so we'll see. So let's do system that out, that uh, print line, uh, print line. What are we going to print? The result. Uh, the result is distance. So the uh, distance is and uh, you now let's do some decimal formatting just to like you know uh, just so it kind of looks more formatted. Uh, so what was it? This it's gonna be oh all right. Before I format it, I need to import java dot text uh, dot decimal uh, format and I see this is the same like with the scan I use it so often I forget that I still have to <laughs> make the object uh, so decimal format and I, I call it decimal form equals new decimal format and the formatting I'm going to be using is uh, uh, one point and two two digits two decimal places so over here we can do the decimal form dot format and we'll format the distance Okay, so that will output our result in a formatting manner. All right then, let's try this. All right, uh, our coordinates, one x, let's say, 100, y, I don't know, 200, and 300, and 400, I don't even know if that's <laughs> gonna work, so, but 282.84. Now, you know what, let me just see if there's any seed numbers that I can use right on the website so that, and I can check against those. Okay. It's one, two, and four, six. So if I use one and two, the result is what five all right so if I use x2 1 and x1 2 
and then y24 and uh, y, y16, the result of the formula should be 5. So let's, let's test that. y coordinates, uh, y1, y1 is 6, x2 was 1, and y2 was 2. And we should get 5. And there it is. Distance is 5. So our formula works. Uh, so let's recap. We declared uh, some variables, you know, to hold the, the coordinates for x1, x2, y1, y2. We also declared the uh, initialize the object scanner you know, because we used it to get the input from the user. And I also have an object uh, which is kind of you know, uh, not needed. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to use it this way, but I like to format my output. So I use the decimal format object for the uh, final output. We collected the input. We obviously closed the, uh, the scanner. We don't need it anymore. And calculated the formula. And I'll put the result. Alright, so I uh, hope it helps you. I'll see you next time. Take care.